Now what we have here is a 1965 Harley Davidson panhead in the early panhead or late knuckle uh, transmission with a factory wishbone frame that was chopped back in the day. It's got a stock springer that's been extended and we've done a modern bobber out of this bike. It had fat bobs and a full rear fender and just a hodgepodge of different looks which was really cool about 1983 but today nobody likes that style so we did a modern chopper bobber look to it and uh, some pipes on it and Duncan got it running good so he's going to come over here in just a minute and fire it up so it's got a really cool look to it now Daniel built the sissy bar he tells me did a nice little modern chopper bobber look to the sissy bar and a little wassail tank here that is a, an original Springer front brake on that bike. This original mouse trap. Now, uh, did we rebuild this motor or no? no? Okay, we did not rebuild the motor or the tranny. We runs, just cleaned it up. It runs really well. And uh, what this is here is Harley Davidson stamps in factory Harley replacement cases. So what you have, back as late as 1973, you could walk into a Harley dealer and say, I want a set of cases, and then push them across the table to you. They'd have no numbers in them, and you did not have to turn in your old cases. And Harley Davidson dealers, or anybody else who wanted to spend the money, could buy brand new Harley stamps. And this is what you have. Somebody blew up their 65, they had Harley stamps and a set of brand new Harley Davidson cases. They're not reproduction, those are Harley cases. And they stuck their numbers with their title in from their blown up motor into this motor. So we do not have outside oiler heads. We have a mechanical distributor. We have a not very late and not real early pan head oil pump. So this is early 60s, late 50s oil pump, which is what the heads are from. You can tell that just by looking at it with the big fins, but they're not outside oiler heads. So, nothing wrong with it. This is how it was done. It's absolutely, totally legal. This is a chopper or bobber or chopper, bobber, whatever you want to call it. You want a stock bike, this is not a stock bike. It's all Harley. That was a little hot rod. So, showing off. Showing off. It would have been really cool if he spun out and went into a car, then he could really show us off. But would be a great uh, video. Yeah. We, we come down here to Duncan's and somebody running a big water carrier or a concrete pumper or something like that, this big tank had it on a dual axle trailer with stupid little tires. There was a pair of them. So one of his stupid little tires blew out and they flipped the whole freaking rig. They're on their side on the, on the freeway. About as smart as that guy. So anyhow, Duncan, if you want to do the honors, So each bike has its own little technique, so it might fire up right away and we might kick a little bit. If any of you notice that, but he shifted first up, which makes three down, which makes it a FX transmission lid on the bike. So what happened is somebody had a tank shift bike with that transmission against an early tranny case. Well, those early tranny cases, only two years, came with a hand clutch. Most of them were tank shift. So somebody went to a swap meet, on himself a ratchet lid off a most likely stolen FXE. The shovel heads were new and commonly stolen back in the day. Put it on the bike. Oh. 
But if any of you boys wonder why all these pan heads have shovel top ends, or where do you think they came from? No. They came from the swap meet off the guy just stole the shovel. This part of biker history, in fact, this is what happened. At one time, you really couldn't ride by yourself unless you were one bad motherfucker because they'd probably try to take your shit. I flipped through the beginning of that. Tail end of it, whatever you want to call it. Beautiful. 